Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to sync Dropbox files on computer. So we'll be using the selective sync feature. But before we start, hurry up and check out our latest offer just under this video. So let's get started. So currently I'm in my Dropbox account here, so it is going to be the web version here, but you also need to have the desktop version here, so make sure to install that first. But in this case, I'm going to show you some files that I already have on my account. So I have this video here as well as a folder here that actually contains a PDF file that I have right now. So how do we actually use the selective sync feature here? So first thing you need to do here is you have to ensure that you have the Dropbox application up and running. So at the search bar here at the bottom left, just type in a uh, Dropbox here and make sure that's currently running. Now, once it's running, go to the bottom right of your screen, go ahead and click on the show hidden icons here and click on the Dropbox icon and that should pop up this specific uh, window here. Now, all we need to do next is we need to click on our profile icon, which is located at the top, right? And from here, choose the option that says preferences. Now, once you click on it, you need to go to the sync option, which is located at the rightmost side here. And from here, you have the selective sync feature. Now, in this case, you all have the option to hide folders from your Dropbox folder here. So currently, this is what my Dropbox folder actually looks like. So I have my test folder here as well as the video that we have before. So just to give you an overview here, this is the test folder, as you can see right now. And we have the video that I have right now. So how do we actually use it? So let's go ahead and click on the select folders option here under selective sync. And if you want to hide a specific folder or if you want to show a folder, make sure that it is actually or it has the check next to it for it to actually appear on your sync list. Now, in this case, if you want to hide that specific folder from that sync, go ahead and click on the check in here and make sure that's actually removed and just click on update. And from here, click on update, click on apply and click on OK. Now, once we go back into our folder, as you can see, the test folder should now be removed. But it might take uh, take some time, so let's go ahead and refresh that. As you can see, it is now removed. Now, in this case, you can only choose folders, so individually or hiding individual files uh, is not possible right now. So if you want to hide a specific file, you might need to enter or basically create a new folder and put them in there for them to not appear on your selective sync here. But that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.